of Mercy Enterprises is one of three faith-based drug and alcohol treatment facilities in the state. But after the pandemic, the center say they're in danger of having to close its doors for good. Markeisha Jackson stopped by the center and Markeisha, they're looking to the community for some help. They are Shatanya, assistant director of House of Mercy tells me that she's a walking testimony that their program does work, but some much needed help from the community can make sure they continue helping others. And I get to give back to the very place that saved my life. Kimberly Smith says she understands firsthand the impact the House of Mercy Enterprises can have on the life of someone needing the most. Me and my husband came here with our son and we never looked back. We're from Austin. Um, this place saved our lives. The faith-based nonprofit provides a year-long program in a safe place for people suffering with addiction and hoping to rebuild their lives. Smith, who is now the assistant director, and Angela Lockard, also a graduate of the program, says she takes pride in being able to offer this resource to the community. What the, the program offers here is, is change in all areas. It's not just getting clean or sober or whatever your thing is that you chase. It's not just getting away from that. It's changing everything about you. The program has over two dozen residents and has a 90% success rate, but officials say dealing with the effects of the pandemic has put them in a tough financial position. A lot of people got hit pretty hard this last year, which in turn makes it to where it's harder for people to donate if they just don't have it. Smith says donations are at an all-time low, so the center is asking for support so they are able to continue serving the community and fulfilling their mission. Our goal is to make this a lasting program mm -hmm. that eventually will have a whole group of graduates to go on to, you know, keep going and keep going and maybe open up their own place one day. Lockard says having gone through the program, she can attest to its importance. This place has been monumental in bringing our family back together. I love, I love seeing these residents, the light in their eye they get when they realize that their life doesn't have to be hopeless anymore. Uh, their future is bright. And Smith says she wants the community to know that every donation, big or small, means the world to them. We just want to have more so we can give more. You know. Smith and Lockard say they want to continue using their Christian platform to empower people for years to come. And you can find out ways you can donate to the program over on our website, TexomasHomePage.com. All right, thank you, Marquise, and I do hope they get some well-needed donations for sure.